Man, that's the first time I got a message and it knocked my recording off. I can't have that. Praise the most high anyway. Yes, indeed, family. We have a grand idea for today. And it's something the most I whispered in my Ruach last evening. As we was um, editing our prior recording, we spoke on the debar word of the Most High, and we have been mentioning mentioning that that Hebrew word in a few of our later of our latest recordings. So the Most High was pointing some things out to me overnight about it so we said we're going to do a recording about the Debar word of the most high and we'll say what is the Debar word of the most high what is the Debar word of the most high and how do I activate it how do I activate it thank you Abba he just showed me something else, family, but praise the most high. We're going to get into it. And what is the Debar word of the most high or the Debar of the most high? Debar means word, matter. I love that. Matter, something tangible. It is also the word which creates as the Most High created the world by his, his word. And we see that in Genesis 1 and 1, where it says, in the beginning, the Most High created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning, you see, we all know these scripts. Most of us anyway, that spent any kind of time in the church. <laughs> and I gotta um, wash my mouth because we can't label our understanding of what the called out assembly is, which is Yasharil, with that former Eurocentric Christianity, meaning of the church, which was the church. <laughs> them lying, I ain't gonna call them bastards. But that's what they are. Not all some. Like I say, the Eurocentric Christianity followers. They're following their um, Elohim Hasatan, who is the head of it and have been for years. But we say praise the most high today. We're going to get into this idea. In the beginning, that means from the giddy up, from the start. The Most High was, was giving us the um, example or the code. I like that word. I saw that in, um, I heard another individual speaking on this the other day about speaking on the codes that's already in our DNA that we as the most highest people must activate. Thank you, Father. Time of the most high bring things back to your memory if you will let them. And if you give them time to put it in your memory bank. <laughs> if you don't take time, and I don't really like saying this a lot, but it's a good example. If you will take time to let them download something into your system. But first of all, it takes sitting in front of that text and letting him speak to you that way and getting that word in you. Hallelujah. Praise the Most High. And family, the Most High put the icing on the cake. Well, we'll get to that. I remember to say it once we get to, to, to that part of our idea. But Isaiah 48 and 13 says, my hand laid the foundations of the earth and my right hand spread out the heavens when I summoned them <coughs> oh 
pardon me, they all stand up together. When I summon them, they all stand up together or they all stood up together. No, thank you, Father. They all stand up together. That's present tense. That's always and forever, which we'll see here in a minute. But when he summons them, they all stand up together. You might be saying, summon what, Robert? Words. Words. Which words are tangible items. Praise the most high. We're going to walk slow with this. Cause it took me a second to get it. <laughs> And it reminds me of that commercial, which I hate that commercial with a passion. That um tele that phone company commercial, um, where the the white boy walking into the building and he says, We have a great deal for you if you're smart enough to um to take it or something like that. And a, a black boy sitting there <laughs> old coon <laughs> And he looked like old coon sitting there. You couldn't have paid me any amount of money to do that commercial. But he's sitting there looking all crazy. And the, the fella said, and if you're not smart enough, we'll wait. So he waited about two seconds. He said, are you smart enough now? <laughs> and the old coon doing like this, like, yep, yeah, I'm smart enough now. And um, I forget the name of the um, people. But that, that commercial heats me up every time I see it. I say to myself, I never worked through them on a phone plan. They had been thinking about it. But praise the most high. We're going to move on. Robin and his feelings. Pardon me, fam. <laughs> but I'm telling the truth on this occasion. Which most of all occasions I'm telling the truth. Or try to be. And then Psalms 33 and 9, it says, For he spoke, and it came to be. He commanded, and it, and it stood firm. Hallelujah, family. What an idea today. So how did it stand firm? He commanded it. He spoke it, family, and it came to be. Oh, boy. So Robert, is, is this that name and claim, name it and claim it jazz, or name it and claim it rigmarole that the Christianity, the Eurocentric Christianity, teaches us about the prosperity ministry, the prosperity blessings? Is this the same thing you're talking about? No. <laughs> or should we put it more emphatically? No. It's not gonna fly. And we'll, um, don't let the cat out of the bag. As I was pulling up in the park here, family, I was at the stoplight up, up the hill before I turned this way. And in front of me, there was a car with J. Bez on the car. And I remember J. Bez from the Eurocentric Christianity Prosperity Movement, how they took that script and manipulated it to basically sell a book. And to basically say, anybody who prays the Jabez prayer can get what Jabez had. But I, I'm going to um, defeat that idea right now. I'm going I'm to I'm um, knock that out of the park right now. And that's in First Chronicles 4, 9 through 10. And yeah, I bought the book. <laughs> Family, pretty much anything connected to that um Eurocentric Christianity prosperity movement I was a part of it I bought into it wholeheartedly cause them boys were mix, mixing that script up in there and it sounded so sweet but I kept noticing over the years I ain't getting no results and one of them said one time if you're not getting the results then it's on you, it's not the most high the most high is not the problem it's you, your faith that something is wrong with your faith. It's nothing wrong with the Most High answering, um, doing what he said he would do. 
But we see here in J in um First Chronicles four, nine and ten that it says about J J Jabez. See this is the separator concerning Jabez and why the most high could see see fit to answer his prayers and ours also. And Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. So what what was Jabez? J Jabez, pardon me. He followed the Most High's laws, statutes, and commands. He did what the Most High told him to. That's a point blank period. And it just um, confirmed it right there. He said he was more honorable than his brothers. So his brothers didn't follow the Most High's laws, statutes, and commands at all. They weren't honorable. Mm. Or they weren't as honorable as Jabez was. Because it says that he was more honorable than they were. And his mother called him Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. So his name basically means what the world called today is bad luck. <laughs> oh, boy. Every time somebody saw him coming, they was like, hey, bad luck. <laughs> oh, boy. Praise the most high. And see, that's how names are, family. There's power in your name. And there's power in your words, as the text tells us. It says life and death is in the power of the tongue. And who he who loves it, We'll put the, the script right here because that's an important one too. He who loves what? Life. Let's look that up real quick. And that's Proverbs 18 and 21. Family, you talk about a good book to read. That's that Proverbs. But it says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit. Eat what fruit, Robert? The words of life. Not death. Don't nobody love no death. Praise the Most High. But yeah, every time anybody saw Jabez, they was calling him bad news. <laughs> oh boy. Because of the mama. Because of her and her feelings, she done put a, a bad name on that boy for life. But somehow, some way, he got in touch with the Most High. And they're going to be letting the, the cat out of the bag. Not really, but it's just our um, normal walking this thing out. We see that he had two things going for him. The two most important things going for him. It says, and Jabez called on the Most High of Yasharel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my coast, and that your hand might be with me, and that you would keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And the Most High granted him what he requested. Praise the Most High family. He prayed. Jabez opened his mouth and asked the Father, Can I get some goods? Can you change the trajectory of my life? Hallelujah. Family, that's a word right there from the Most High. Father, change the trajectory of our lives and he's working on it we'll see he's working on it mm -mm -mm. praise the most high and the text goes on to say and the most high granted him what he requested so he got his answer mm -mm -mm. see family what 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 um gets me with Jabez is he lived honorably. 
even though he was surrounded with foods. <laughs> oh boy. Surrounded with food straight from mama. Mama named him crooked and crazy because of something she was going through when she bore him. And even if it was she had a hard pre pre pregnancy, she shouldn't have labeled that boy um, like for his whole life as um being bad news. And then his brothers they weren't as honorable as him which tells me that they weren't honorable at all or on the most part weren't honorable what a sad song family and some if not all of us are surrounded with individuals just like that in our lives so they can't go to the most high and say um, oh that you will bless me indeed oh boy See, that boy had to be following the Most High's law, statutes, and commands. You can't go, go to the Most High with dirty hands and a dirty heart saying to bless me indeed and enlarge my coast, enlarge my territory. Hallelujah. And that your hand might be with me. I apologize, family. I done skipped way over. But we were speaking on... um this car in front of me at the stoplight. Thank you, Pop. And the individual in it was hesitating at the light to go on and make this left turn. Come on down the hill. <laughs> and afterwards, I saw why. But when um, the lady was um, hesitating, I, I believe the most I was telling me, pay attention to this. Pay attention, pay attention. Cause she kept kept stopping and going and stopping and going like she wanted to turn around. All the way down the hill, family, to the point when she was um, getting ready to turn into this parking lot, which I didn't know. I, I went on around it to make this left turn. <laughs> I was being fast, family. I couldn't wait on um, old grandma. And that's who it turned out to be, a, a old grandma. But once she got on out here, it looked like she was um, teaching her granddaughter how to drive. New beginnings. Praise the most high. But I ain't had time to wait on grandma. I'm excited about this word. He already gave me the first part of it, but this was the exclamation mark. Praise the most high. Hallelujah. So evidently, I'm not saying that the example of Jabez is wrong. Because the most high put it in the holy text for a reason. He put it in there just like we're going over it now. However, when you hook it up to the Eurocentric Christianity movement, in order to sell books and turn it, turn it into a giving campaign because you know he, he had to hook up with a, a ministry the author that wrote that book that is but evidently it worked for grandma enough to put on her license tag and I was gonna um, say something to her but um, they got gone Oh, I was going to ask you, you know, Robert knows that. If y'all don't know, I'm knows. <laughs> I talk to folks. They talk back. Yes, indeed. I was like, um, I was going to be like, what's that Jabez on on your your car? You know, I asked, asked something where they, 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 they will ask them. An open-ended question. That's what you do. You talk to people. Praise the most high. And we see here in John 1 and 14, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory and the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, or Abba, full of grace and truth. Praise the Most High family. See, this is an, an example of also how the Most High works. 
it says, and the word, the word became tangible flesh so we can grab hold of it and we beheld his glory. See, that's like old Jabez when he prayed and the Most High granted him what he wanted. The Most High blessed him indeed. So he had tangible substance in his life. He said, bless me indeed, enlarge my coast, give me some property, and that your hand might be with me. Lead and guide me. And keep me from evil. Keep me from them secret sins, Father. Don't let them, don't let them um, hurt me. And don't let any anybody else hurt me, evil folks. But firstly, what's in my heart? I think that's so important. And they won't, as you, you keep them law, statutes, and commands. Mm -mm -mm. but the whole point is family and the most high granted him that which he, he requested or that which he prayed and family don't y'all know that that John 1 and 14 couldn't have come about unless some, some folks were praying and we see this in the text when um, I think his name was Zechariah he was praying that the Most High would come and um, I think he had an opportunity to hold Yahushua or John the Baptist or he got the chance to see Yahushua if I'm not mistaken now family we'll, um, we'll put that text in the recording but I believe it was Yahushua that he had prayed to see before he died and um, he went on and died out the thereafter if I'm not mistaken but the fellow prayed family to see the word made flesh and dwelt among us hallelujah family is anybody starting to see what this the bar word really is about and how to activate in your life. I'm starting to see it. And the text says in Psalms 147 and 10, this is our main text for today. He sends his orders to the world. How swiftly his word flies. <laughs> oh boy. How swiftly his word flies. Praise the Most High. And see, this this isn't only for us going to Him to get blessings. <laughs> I got my blessing. No, this is for what He wants to perform on the earth. And yes, that's what them blessings are about. So we'll be empowered to achieve what He made us to achieve. But he also sends a word or sends his orders. Just as we say, Eric, when we come out here, we say it quite often that the Most High gives me my daily orders. And see, that's what happens when you're in the military. He gives us our orders. And he said in, um, in the text concerning them dry bones, they all um, stood up, well equipped with the body, um, the mask, the skin, and all that. They was ready. And they stood up as a great, a vast army, as the text says. So we, we're waking up, family. Thank you, Father, for turning that on around. We're waking up. You're blowing your breath into us, giving us life. By us brothers and sisters out here, 
waking each up, waking us up through the Ruach Hakodesh. See, that's what the wind and the rattling was all about. The rattling of them bones. Because the Most High commanded his orders. He sends his orders to the world. How swiftly his word flies. He said, okay, it's time now. It's time time to wake up, wake up my youngers. They've had enough. The 400 is over. Let's wake them up. So he sent that word. He sent the Ruach Kakadesh. He said, okay, it's time. Go and wake them up. And the text also says some wake up to life and some wake up to everlasting. We'll say death. That's not exactly what the script says, but that's that's telling us everybody has heard this this word, this wake up call. And as we were saying in a prior recording, everybody and their mama want to be woke because the most high waking us up. And they are woke. They're just getting a different a different wake up call. <laughs> oh boy, thank you, Arbor. From a different Elohim. Just like when um you woke up, you wanna hit that snooze button. Or you might be laying beside somebody like my wife from time to time. And she say, Robert, hit that snooze button for me. Or she might say, Robert, wake me up. <laughs> I'm like, wake you up. I'm trying to get mine in. <laughs> and don't you know, two hours later, <laughs> my wife's like, Robert, why ain't you wake me up? Uh-oh. I ain't had no appointment, sweetie. <laughs> oh, boy. But that's how some of us are. We, we go back to sleep. And worse than that, some of us, like I said, we're, we're being awakened by another Elohim or the Elohim of this world. Little G, little E, Hasatan. He's blinded the minds and the eyes so folks can't see the glorious light of the Basura when it's right there in their face. Praise the Most High. We'll move on. In Psalms 107 and 20 says, He sent His word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. Exclamation mark. When He woke us up. When them bones went to shaking. Praise the Most High. Then we looked at... um. Psalms 119 and 89. Forever, O Most High, your word is settled in heaven. Uh-oh. Settled in heaven? What heaven got to do with it? That's where the Most High resides, family. That's the, the boardroom, the throne room. The big round table. The word settled means to bring to rest, to establish, or secure permanently, permanently. Pardon me, family. From time to time, I still slur words from that old stroke. And from time to time, you'll see I have an old crooked smile, crooked um, lips, and the tongue get heavy, but praise the most high, we're out here anyway. Through it all. Secure permanently. And don't you know permanently means forever. So in um, eternity's past, the most I said, okay, in 1970, we're going to have Robert Allen Holloway to come about. And we're going to um, start his process. So by the time 2010, 23, 23, October the 23rd, 2023 comes around. We already have words for him to speak. We already have his orders ready to speak. They're already in our book. All we need to do is um, 
Read, speak them out loud and send them orders to them to establish praise the most high the change that he needs in his life not only the turn but also the change change <laughs> praise the most high the change change see now I'm ready for it fam I have my orders in our ever changing world nothing is established or secured permanently but the most high's word is forever settled or established well we can say forever forever settled and established and secured permanently in heaven or in the most high hallelujah so what do we do need to do family like we said before to activate the debar word in our lives <clears throat> first you gotta know what it is you know first you gotta have an upright life you gotta be walking holy set apart see that's one thing about Jabez different from his mama and his brother he was set apart and living a set apart lifestyle which means holy which means he want um, transgression the law he wants sinning before the most high and coming to him like most of us do that was out there in that Christian that your essential Christianity doctrine saying it, oh it don't matter I can still get from him all I gotta do is ask him oh pussy putting pacifying passer says it's okay I can do whatever I want to do just come to him had that meeting on Sunday evening like we said get that oil smacked across the onions and say I'm sorry pastor pastor say tell me what's wrong baby <laughs> I got you mm, I got you tell me what's wrong baby it's okay none of us are perfect just confess your sins to me and I'll take away that guilt and he does for a minute or two cause see we come to him we get that physical touch we feel like the hand of the most high done touched us and forgive us for a minute but that guilt comes right back on especially after we go right back out the same we can do the same thing again but yet and still we want to say that we can get something from the most high when we don't do what he tell us to do just like Yahushua said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So how many people out here trying to get something from the most high without keeping his commandments? Or trying to say that they're really delighting themselves in the most high, so he's going to give them the desires of their heart. And see, that's another script we'll throw, throw in on this um, idea. The text says, delight yourselves in him. In him. We just did a recording on this a couple of days ago. See how the Most High is lining us up, family, to receive his Debar word. Mm -mm -mm. But Isaiah 55 and 11 says, So shall my word be that goeth forth from, from out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Oh, hallelujah, family, hallelujah. So we, we understand and know that when the Most High said in 2023, October the 23rd, 2023, we're going to give Robert that go-ahead word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Abba. We're going to give Robert that door opening, the bar word. Hallelujah. That door opening, the bar word. Praise the Most High. It's already in, the Most High already spoke it, family. See, from eternity's past, he already put it out there. Mm -mm -mm. And finally, we're going to end on Psalms 147. We're going to read it all on the most part. 
I want to point out a few pointers, but we're going to read on through it, Most High willing. We're getting in our time. It says, praise the Most High. How good to sing praises to our Elohim. How delightful and how fitting. The Most High is rebuilding Yasharel and bringing the exile, exiles back to Jerusalem. Family, this is our Debar word for today. The Most High is rebuilding us, Yasharel, and bringing the exiles, exiles back to Jerusalem. See, you do know um, when you speak a city's name, a lot of times or most of the time, it means the inhabitants of the city, not the actual city itself. Just as we call ourselves Yasharel, it's not saying we're speaking on a location, but we're speaking on us, the people. But this also speaks of the location. The Most High is rebuilding Yasharel, the land and the people. And as the Most High said, says in this text, pardon me, family, I don't have no more water. I drank my water before I went to my workout. But, um, the text speaks on how the Most High is preparing the land for us to come back in it. And that's all in my own um, way of saying it. I don't know the exact text, but it's in there. He prepares a way in the wilderness. Praise the High, the Highest. He heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. And this, we we need this, family. We need a mental healing and a heart um, regulation. Because, family, we've been through too much hell and high water in this land of our captivities. Oh, this 400 years plus. But the Most High is going to give us that mental stability that we need. Not only mentally, but also physically. He's going to heal us physically and bandage up our wounds. Praise the Most High. He counts the stars and calls them by name. Uh oh Now, we can look at this as the stars up in the sky, or we can look at this as the stars of Yashorel, us, us folks. And him counting us and calling us by name. How great the Most High, our Elohim. His power is absolute. Mm-mm-mm. That means all power. That means no power can stand against him. His understanding is beyond comprehension. Uh-oh. See, family, with, with old Rob, <laughs> I joke and kid and say I'm not the sharpest knife in the shelf at times. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a, a little, little longer for me to get it. But the most I knows how to work with me. And I don't need to have the level of comprehension as he does, or smart, or genius, or expertise. That's a good word, because as long as I'm I'm with the the expert on a the matter, then I just walk alongside him, and and it makes me look just as smart or wise as the man I'm walking with when I can go to him and ask him whatever I need to ask him. Praise the highest. The Most High supports the humble, just like we said. Say, I know my place, but he brings the wicked down to the dust, into the dust, to the graves where we just woke up from. See, there's most, a lot of them's um, destination, but most are going into slavery where we have been the last 400 some would say last 2000 for a long time we've been under these devil's feet so sing thanks sing out your thanks to the most high sing praises to our Elohim with a heart he covers the heavens with the well we're going to skip this part <clears throat> but all this is speaking on the most high's power and I highly recommend we read it all. We're going to pick back up here at 10, if I'm not mistaken. 
and it says he sends shalom across your nation and satisfy your hunger with the finest wheat. So how do he send shalom across our nation? And this didn't say all the nations of the world. Uh-oh. See, he's still talking about Zion family, the real Zion. But he sends it with that word. See, just like when um, Yahushua was on that boat and he said, Shalom be still. He was saying, Peace, sit still right here. A lot of folks would think he was speaking to the wind and to the to the water, but no, he he, he spoke what he needed. He said, Okay, I don't need to speak to the wind and and, and the rain and the waves. I don't need to speak to that. All I need to do is speak to the shalom and it's going to overpower <laughs> all the other mess going on in our lives in our nation hallelujah he sends this our text well let's go over that too he sends shalom across your nation and satisfies your hunger with the finest wheat and yes, this is speaking on physical food, but it's also speaking on this Ruaka food we're speaking on now. These words. He sends his orders to the world. How swiftly his word flies. And see, family, when I read this, it reminded me that the Most High is not slow to act. He's doing this a quick work. It's as soon as you can um, comprehend it. He sends his orders to the world. How swiftly his word flies. And it's not no, um, has nothing to do with your comprehending. It's already yours. All you have to do is accept it because like we said, it was from eternity's past. He already spoke it on us. He said, now this is going to happen such and such and such. And now it's happening. He's just informing us of it. He just um, letting us know. He sends the snow like white wool. I'm not going to read that, although that has a lot of purpose and um, a lot of meat on that bone. We're going to get to this one. Then at his command, it all melts. Nope. Here we go, right here. He has revealed his words to your code, his decrees and regulations to Yasharil. He has not done this for any other nation. They do not know his regulations. Praise the Most High. They don't know the Dubar word of the Most High. No sub. They they try to take up our, our history book, <laughs> our covenant book with our Most High Elohim, and try to switch it up and put them, inject themselves into the place. Uh-oh. But the Most High said, no. Oh, you only have I known. You're the main reason. You're the ones I'm seeing, seeing on my throne. You only have I known. That's a song by um uh, Hezekiah. And it's speaking that script about you, Yasharil, have I only known. Not these other nations. See, he didn't give them our law, statutes, and commands. No, he gave them to us, family. He gave us the oracles of the Most High. The physical written down oracles and the spoken Debar word of the Most High. He has not done this for any other nation. Any, not any other nation. They do not know his regulations. He revealed his word to your code. And once again, family, this is in um, eternity's past. Still alive and well today. So he has revealed his words to Yasharil. We can say it that way. 
Well, we'll, we'll keep it like it's written. To your code, his degree, decrees and regulations to Yashorel. Now it's up to us to walk in them, family. See, this has come full circle. There hadn't been another idea we've done that hadn't been more complete and finished. And I'm so happy and satisfied with it. Full circle. He gave us the example of Jabez. I would highly recommend we read over that. And how we're to walk in activating this Dabar word. We clearly explain what it is. <clears throat> is you live right? Simpler, simpler, even simpler than that. You do right, I do this. You remind me of when I, I said I was going to do this, and then I'll do it. So the Most High give us His holy text, family. So he's pointing to now back to the text and say, okay, I'm, I'm ready to do this for you now. This is what I want to do in your life right now. I want to expand your territory. I want to bless you indeed. I want to walk with you and I want to keep evil away from you. What more can you say? But praise the most high today. Do stay up family and keep pushing forward in the right direction. Shalom. Mm -mm -mm. Hallelujah.